Hello! It's time. Time for what, you may ask? Well, let me fill you in, dear viewer. On. Who's that at the back? Huh? What's your name? David. Oh. Wake up! That's because we're having fun in Hearts of Iron 4 today, dear gravy little dimmies. <laughs> Have you ever thought to yourself that Hearts of Iron 4, the World War II strategy game, had too much World War II strategy in it? Maybe you wanted to go back to a simpler time where there was no World War II. <laughs> in the World War II game. Oh dear viewer, do I have the diddly damn mod for you? Because for some reason someone decided to, um, remove the world. Yes, welcome to the colonization mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm sure this is gonna go absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so if you ever thought to yourself, damn, there's just too much going on in Hoi 4, like fighting and World War 2 and strategy, and you wanted an extra element in there that wasn't those things, now you can colonize the Barren wasteland of the world. The the border, the border gore is going to be absolutely horrendous in this, isn't it? Right. So, pretty simple concept, I suppose. We're going to be doing some colonizing. I genuinely have no idea which little blob of a nation we should play today. You know, I think I'm going to go with Francy Pansy. We're kind of uh in the middle of things, I suppose you could say. And there's also a lot more countries here, so I imagine it's gonna get pretty damn chaotic, shall we say. Uh, whereas over here in France, uh, we're actually, we're pretty far away because nobody wants to be near the French. <laughs> oh guys, you realize that everyone gets uh, little, little ideas and stuff, okay? Viva la France, apparently. So if you ever thought to yourself that Hui 4 did not have enough EU for it, welcome to the Colonial Focus Tree. Boom, I would love to do some colonizing. Oh, colonizing is a lot different than colonizing. All right, so I, yeah, the way it works, okay. Uh, we're gonna need some PP. Currently, I do not have 15 PP, I have Two PP. So, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot in the way of, uh, room to grow here, put it that way. So we're gonna have to grow outwards to become a economic powerhouse. Uh, so I don't know if every country by default will go ahead and colonize, but so far it just appears that the important countries can do it, which is fine with me. Uh, cause apparently if I enable it for every country, might cause a bit of lag. I guess we'll start off by colonizing uh, just immediately, really, and get to work. Right, Germany, I'm going to beat you. Do it. <laughs> you can't stop me. Uh, I thought it would be funny just to enable AI for every country. So we'll see if my PC ends up on fire by the end of all this. <laughs> Already got a bit of a colonial conflict going. Of course, I have to get Luxembourg. It is very important. Now, not only do we have to colonize these states, we also have to integrate them. Uh, but I'm just going to grab as much as I can first and foremost. And, uh, yeah, it's already looking pretty, <laughs> pretty interesting. So to actually colonize overseas too, we require some colonial power in the form of free light cruisers. I am <laughs> getting to work. All right, so far the world map kind of looks like uh, you've been asked to draw the world map from memory after 12 shots of vodka. We do this overseas venture. It goes ahead and builds a level one naval port on colonized land not connected to your territory. Let's find out where we're going. All right, I don't think that worked or I didn't understand how it was supposed to work but I don't see any overseas territory anywhere. We got uh, more trouble brewing across the colonizing world. I got myself free cruisers, which means hopefully now I can do some overseas colonizing. I just don't know where to go. Can't go too far with just free, as it appears to uh, mostly go by distance. It's 15 to get all the way to Asia. So I guess we'll just start over here in North Africa. So cute, look at that. Spain and Portugal are making love. Uh, currently snaking my way across North Africa. <laughs> the Italians just arrived! We're, we're about to have some serious beef over here. I was gonna go ahead and stay democratic, but I think the uh, Italians may have just radicalized me with what they have done over here. You know, what's actually most surprising here is that, um, you managed to pull that off 
<laughs> pretty well. Oh, meanwhile the British are going ham down here. Probably I can justify for disputed territory. I don't know what this entails, but I'm about to find out on the Italianos. I haven't um, completely looked at the world. And uh, yeah, for good reason. So uh, yeah, India went ham. China went ham. Uh, other China went ham. Japan went ham down here. Philippines, apparently a free-for-all for everyone. Uh, if we actually go over to Africa, you know, not that bad. Other than the, uh, Italian incursion. But, uh, Pierce de la Resistance, as they say. South America! Yep! We just, we ain't gonna look at that, alright? <laughs> we ain't gonna look at that. As you can tell, though, I have well and truly decided who my enemy is today. Alright, smell you later, democracy. We're out of there. It's time to... Dunk on the Italians. Alright, we're gonna fix this little issue down here in Africa once and for all. What you get for ruining my neat borders? The great French colonial wars that will be fought in mainland Italy are about to go. Absolutely as planned, no doubt about it. Yeah, they never saw this one coming. I've uh, just been endlessly grinding my troops up against them because uh, these are just pretty much the default infantry. Uh, yeah, nothing special. <laughs> They're not doing very well. But uh, I'm really hoping I don't have to go to Africa to capitulate the Italians. Thank the Lord. Okay, nice. And that's what you get for stealing my land. This is gonna look pretty bad, but not as bad as before. Uh, I, I guess we could also go into Italy, but uh, I don't want to be on a, another bigger border with Poland, so I'm just gonna go ahead and puppet them. There you go. Much better. Right now we've dealt with that, though, I should probably go about building an actual functioning army. Oh my god. Is this a fallout reference? I actually checked, the world is currently at peace. Not a single war is going on, and uh, I plan on changing that if the AI won't do it. I don't want to go to war with South Africa, but at the same time, I don't want to go to war in Africa for South Africa. Uh-oh, uh, okay, little war did just kick off in Europe. All right, I might want to wrap up this uh, South African adventure pretty quickly if uh, people are going to war already. Oh, yeah, okay. It's all kicking off. Uh, not just yet, Germany. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, shall we? Okay, they, they actually have no air force available or AA by the looks of things, because uh, the cast is tearing right through them. Uh, well, there, <laughs> there goes Greece. Yeah, look at that, the old sneaky French reach around. Don't look that up on Urban Dictionary. If I was gonna create a faction though, I think I've got just the man with the many chins to do it. We shall call it... Le Sushi. Why can I send diplomats to myself? I'm gonna do it. I forgot I have the Italians as a puppet, so uh, I'm, I'm sending them all to their definitely not death. Oh my god, they did not die. Hold on a sec. Excuse me? Well... <laughs> Thank you, South Africa! There we go, now your name makes sense again. You're back in the South! Okay, any more wars going on right now? We got the German-British War, the Chinese-Manchu War, and the Indian-Siamese War. Okay, so British versus the Germans, not bad. Uh, uh, unless you're Denmark, and then things may be actually quite bad. Okay, the, the Chinese-Manchu War. Um, but looking at these casualties and these factory counts, I don't even want to know what's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the great conflict is only here. Oh my god, there's just so many divisions. I don't even want to know. Yeah, I imagine the exact same thing is happening between the Indians and the Siamese right now too. Next up, I kind of got my eye on Iberia down here. Don't like the, um, what looks like uh, a little man sticking his giant horn. <laughs> We're just, we're just gonna leave it there. Okay, we're gonna deal with this one. Wow, I just realized Poland's huge. And I only realized that because they've actually gone ahead and released uh, some client states over here. <laughs> it just looks weird. Oh my god, I just realized that the, the Chinese Manchu War is actually going on in Siberia too. No wonder there are so many casualties. Moment of truth. Can I beat the Spanish? If you answered yes to that question, give yourself a pat on the back. If you answered no, it's time for you to leave. 
a like on this video. I even called the Japanese in, but they've still turned up, you know. I guess they're just cheering me on on the way. But Spain, not too interested in taking your land, but I am interested in having more forced friends, as we like to call them. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my newest series, I Saw Reproductions Cleans Up the Map. Oh, God. <laughs> they did not stand a chance at all. Here you go, Spain. You can uh, stop being eternally violated now. There you go. Now we are secure on most sides. Uh, I say most on all sides. Now, considering the Germans are already at war, uh, I think we know what to do here. The Germans actually have some tanks. I do not have any tanks, uh, but as they all brave philosophers said during World War II, uh, tank schmanks. Yeah, let's just see how this goes, shall we? Uh, the offensive was okay. Uh, problem is I ran out of fuel immediately, but uh, good news is we have Uncle Sam ready to <laughs> sell us 44 civilian factories worth. Uh, which it makes sense why I'm burning through so much uh, oil when I don't even have any oil. If you look at the air right now, I am, uh, I am genuinely scared to look at the casualties in this war right now because I, I have, I've just been grinding, okay? Uh, these units aren't really any good and uh, I've just been relying on the cast, which will work, but uh, the cost of which... 400,000 dead Frenchmen! Although we have inflicted double that on the Germans, so technically we're winning. Oh my god, I kind of just left the Italians. Uh, I stole their troops just to hold this part of the front where I didn't want to push, and, uh, well, look at that! They've ended up with quite the encirclement of German troops. Uh, <laughs> nice! Now it's time to kill. Do, uh, do I even want to know what that other is? Because... Thank you, Germany! Right, there we go. Now, we can't have a French gameplay walkthrough of... What are, what are we doing here? Hold on, where am I? We can't have a French game without going to war with the British. It's definitely time for Operation Booty Clap. I'd send an attaché over here just to get some uh, experience to build my units up before the uh, Great Invasion. And if you're wondering what the front line looked like over here, Exactly how you'd imagine it would. Uh, the Siberian front is even funnier though, because look how many troops Manchuria has just in this little pocket that could be cut off at any second. <laughs> they just don't care. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we got more important things to do. And you know, I'll also, I'll call on all of my friends I've made along the way. There was uh, absolutely no strategy behind that. I just sent the entire army across the channel. <laughs> What's part is my marines that were uh, actually the strategy. <laughs> Didn't even manage to get there in time before like the infantry took over because they've just been held in combat over here. Oh, that though. 69 convoys. No! Uh, yeah, I, um, I think this might be over pretty quickly. Yep, there we go. Nice! We win! I guess I'll, um, just take a few things. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot about that. Oh! Uh, I, I think, I think that's good enough, really. Um, th that was the colonization mod, everybody. <laughs> um, uh, I would have liked to see a few more wars. Uh, that's for darn certain. Um, but instead we just got the never-ending Chinese-China war. <laughs> oh, and India and Siam, I completely forgot about that. In fact, let's just look at the, uh, casualties. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what the- I, I don't know what I expected there. Uh, definitely not 8 million dead people, though. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, you are, yeah, it's been a fun ride over here in the East. The worst part is, look, they've got, like, between 300 and 1,000 divisions. Like, I can get these casualties over here, but with the Indian one, they've got, like, 200 each. <laughs> How are they managing it? Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going to call it there for today with the colonization mod. Uh, we definitely had a lot of fun today. I might come back and try this one out again at some point. Uh, uh, maybe switch it up a bit, try to get the AI to be a bit more aggressive. But uh, yeah, you enjoyed the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below. Blah, 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 blah.